Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss back again with another video and today we're going to do a quick unboxing of the OnePlus 5T. Now, is this going to be the best new mid-range phone of the year? Let's find out. I haven't even seen it yet and I already like it more than the essential trash, so that's a good start. Now, y'all know I hate talking about specs, but since this is an unboxing video, let's go through the main specs that you need to know, starting with the most important spec, the price. Now the phone comes in two different versions. You got six gigs of RAM with 64 gigs of storage. That one's gonna run you 500 bucks. And you also got eight gigs of RAM with 128 gigs of storage. That one's gonna run you 560 bucks. Now as Bob Barker would say, the price is right. Now the phone only comes in one color, midnight black. Now this is a GSM phone. So that means if you got AT&T or T-Mobile, you're good to go. If you got Sprint or Verizon, you asked out. Now for the display, you got a six inch AMOLED panel with a resolution of 1080 by 2160. Now that's 401 for the PPI Patrol. Now with the new six inch panel, you got the 18 by nine format and that's 80% screen to body ratio. Now the phone does feature Corning Gorilla Glass 5. Now for the processor, you get a Qualcomm Snapdragon 835 with the Adreno 540 GPU. What does that mean? Top of the line specs. So this is the same processor and GPU that you're gonna find in your Galaxy, in your Pixel, in your HTC. Now the phone is running Android 7.1 Nugget, shout out to the Nugget boys, fresh out of the box with the Oxygen 4.7 skin on top. Now there's no micro SD card slot for expandable memory. Now for the camera, on the rear, you got a dual setup, so that's a 16 megapixel and a 20 megapixel camera. You got 4K video, and you got electronic image stabilization. On the front, you got a 16 megapixel camera and you also get electronic image stabilization. For the battery, this is a non-removable 3,300 milliamp battery that features dash charge. Now OnePlus claims 30 minutes is gonna give you a full day's charge and I will say this after using OnePlus phones, dash charge is probably the fastest charger in the market. Now this is a five volt, four amp, 20 watt charger. Now, you also get a headphone jack, fingerprint sensor and face unlock. So what's missing? No quad HD, we can live with that. No micro SD card slot, we can live with that. No wireless charge, that's cool for the price. And the phone has no IP rating. So that means the phone is not water resistant. Now let me talk about that for a quick second. I don't care how many videos you watch. Just because somebody puts the phone in water and it still works, that doesn't mean it's water resistant. That means they just got lucky. Now I had phones from 10, 20 years ago that I dropped in the toilet and took it out and it still worked. And then I have other phones that I dropped in the toilet and it stopped working immediately. So do you got $500 to take a chance? That's on you. All right, so let's pop this open and see what it looks like. Now, one thing about OnePlus, they do have a great presentation. All right, this is A1, very Apple-esque. Shout out to Xerxes, look out white shoes. Beautiful presentation, red and white theme. All right, so here we go. Inside the box, here's your, uh, here's your device. Let's see what else you get. Now you get your little pamphlet right here. Let's open this up. Now check this out. Keep in mind, 500 bucks, you get a case. All right, so we got a case on deck. Here's your SIM ejection tool. We're gonna need that. You got your official OnePlus Troll stickers. Pluck them, put them in your pocket. Anybody that you know that has an iPhone, you know what to do. Usual books and shit, pluck them, follow them to the side. And some more books, pluck them and follow them. Now here's your dash charger. Okay. Now, check this out. OnePlus comes with probably the best USB Type-C cable that you could get with a phone. Tangle free, red and white theme, and they even give you the cable clips for your cable management system. So that's a good look right there. Here, Zerts, have at it. Now for the device. If you've seen the OnePlus 5, you've seen the OnePlus 5T. They pretty much look identical. So what's the difference? Now the fingerprint sensor's on the rear. Okay, here's your dual camera setup, your flash. On one side, here's your power button. Here's your SIM tray. Here's your 16 megapixel camera in the front. On the other side, now here's your alert slider. Now I don't know why more manufacturers don't implement this. Apple been doing it for years. Everybody loves it. This needs to be a stock feature on, on all new phones. This way, if you're not supposed to use your phone at work and your boss comes in, you don't gotta pull your phone out, right in your pocket, you hit that slider and you're good to go. What else? Volume up and down. On the bottom, here's your USB Type-C input, speaker, headphone jack. Headphone jack. 
Apple headphone jack. Pay attention. All right, that's pretty much it. So basically, let me throw my information in the phone real quick. Then we'll go through the OS. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now, I just put my information in the phone. I've been playing around with it for a few minutes, and I got to be 100% honest with y'all. I'm impressed. This phone is a major go. Now, if you like the OnePlus 5, then you're going to like the OnePlus 5T even more. Now, let me make a prediction. I think that this is the best phone that you could get for 500 bucks. Right now, there's really only one competitor, and that's the LG G6. Now, the G6 does have wireless charging. It is water resistant. You got the wide angle lens camera, and you get your always on display. But with the OnePlus 5T, you got a better processor, better GPU, and more of that stock Android experience, which appeals to a lot of people. Now, you also get the facial unlock. Now, I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. I am a complete noob. Let me tell y'all what I was doing. Now, I just set the phone up, and I was going like this. I was hitting the power button and opening up the phone. Now, let me look at it. I was going like this. So now I'm saying to myself, I just set up the face unlock. Why is it not working? <sighs> let me tell y'all something. This is, without a doubt, the fastest facial unlock that I ever seen yet. Now, to this moment, LG uh, V30 had the title. Now, the one thing about the V30, you don't have to press any buttons. All you have to do is look at it, and it opens up. You see how fast that was? Now, from off screen, no buttons pressed. I just look at it, and it opens up. Now, you have that little slide to unlock animation. Now, check this out with the OnePlus 5T. If I don't look at it, you see it goes to my notification screen. Now, watch me. I'm going to look at it now and open it. No animation. It just pops open. It almost feels like there's no locking mechanism at all. No security swipe. This is major right here. All right, this is a major go. Now, as far as the fingerprint sensor, I do like the placement. And OnePlus always had the fingerprint sensor game on lock. Check this out. Now, I'm just going to hit the power button. All right, no unlock. Now, I'm going to hit the uh, fingerprint sensor. Look how fast that is. One of the fastest fingerprint sensors in the game, but without a doubt, the fastest facial unlock that you're going to find. Hey, yo, Zerks, fall back. Zerks has no respect for space. All right, y'all got to know that. Now, let's, uh, let's, <laughs> let's go through some of the OS real quick. Let's take it over to settings. Zerks, you, you all right? Let's take it over to the settings. All right, let's see what you got on deck. All right, let's go to, uh, now, for, for just in case you want to know, I'm running this on AT&T. All right, so like I said, AT&T T and T-Mobile, drop your SIM card in, automatically going to run out. If you got Sprint or Verizon, keep it moving. Let's see what else we got. Let's, I'm not going to turn this into a full review. We'll just go through some of the settings together. Let's hit more. You do got NFC, so we'll turn that on. You got tap and pay. Now, one thing I do got to mention about the facial unlock, it's not the most secure in the world. It's not the Galaxy with the iris sensor. It's not Apple with the facial unlock. All right, so that's why you can't use that for secure payments. You can't use that for logging into websites. It's more of a convenience, and I got to do that one more time. Look how fast it is. That's the definition of convenience. All right, so we got your Android Beam and your tap and pay. We'll set that up later. Alert slider. All right, so there's your alert slider. You can set that to silent, do not disturb, or ring. Let's go to buttons. Now, you can swap buttons. That's another thing that I like about OnePlus phones. Very customizable. It reminds me of back in the days when everybody used to root their phones and drop Cyan Jamad or drop AOKP. Now, you can do all that stuff stock, no root. Hit one button, swap your buttons. So, some people like to have the recently used apps on the left. I prefer it on the right, so we'll leave it like that. Now, you can hide your notification bar. All right, so you hit that, disappears when you want to get it up again, swipe, <laughs> get it up again, <laughs> giggity. All right, now let's see, uh, long press. Now this is for your home button. Now if I long press the home button, we'll open up the search assistant, we'll leave that. Double tap, now you got more options. So you can double tap the home button, open and close your menu, turn on your search, uh, search assistant, turn off the screen, we'll leave it like that. Voice search and some other stuff. Let's see, uh, recent buttons, same thing. Now your recent buttons, normally the stock setting is open up the split screen. This does have split screen multitasking, so we'll leave that as is. But let's see our long press. What can we do for long press? Let's do long press voice assistant. Your back button, same thing. So, the, <laughs> Zerks, I'm about to file. Hold on, Zerks, I got to file you to the side because you you out of control right there. <laughs> Zerks out of control. All right, where was we? All right, well, uh, if no action, we'll leave that on um, open and close notification. And double tap on the back button. We'll use that to uh, turn off the display. Keep it moving. Let's see what else you get. Now, you get some gestures. All right, so you got three fingers. 
uh, uh, swipe for notifications with your uh, fingerprint sensor. Now, personally, I never found that useful. I don't even use it. I'm not going to turn it on. But basically what that is, when you turn it on and you swipe down, you see I swipe down on the uh, fingerprint sensor, it brings down your notification tray. Now, some people might find that useful. I don't, so I'll leave it off. Let's see, uh, long press to take a photo. Now you'll find that useful for when you're taking selfies. You uh, hold, hold the uh, <laughs> long press the fingerprint sensor and take a selfie. So we'll find that kind of useful. Flip to mute, we'll leave that on. This way if you get a phone call, just flip it and it'll mute you. Three finger screenshot. Definitely gotta leave that on. All right. <laughs> when, you, when you're scrolling through Instagram, sc screenshotting all them buns, just like that. Hit the like button first and then screenshot. Double tap to wake, we need that. Music controls, we'll leave that. Now you got your drawing, your drawing controls for when the display is off. So zero, I usually try to leave that for flashlight, open flashlight. So this way when the phone is off, draw to zero, that turns on your flashlight. Draw to zero again, that turns it off. Fingerprint sensor opens right back up. Now same thing with draw V. This is all your choices. Oh, you can also set it to open up apps. When I do the full review, we'll have everything all set up. Let's see your uh, status bar. Now you got your battery style. All right, so you got circle. You see it went to circle on the top. Or we got hidden. Let's leave it on circle. You got uh, just let uh, <laughs> display battery percentage. You definitely got to leave that on. It's more of an accurate reading. Display, ne uh, display network speed. We don't need that. For time, we'll leave that alone. And you got an icon manager. Play with that later. Let's see what else we got. Uh, let's go to uh, fonts. All right, so you got two stock fonts. We'll leave it on the slate. Sound and vibrations, anything we need to look at. Nothing there. And that's pretty much it. Now, um, let's see. Let's go to security real quick. All right, so you got screen lock. Let's, uh, let's see the different security. So you got swipe, padding, pin, and passcode. Now, that's one thing I hate about Apple phones. You only got a passcode. I like having a pattern. So this way, if I, my, my phone is on the table, when you got your iPhone on the table, and your facial unlock is not gonna work, you're gonna be going like this, like you type in an essay. Now with swipe patterns, you just go like this. Now my swipe is usually just a simple swipe. And open up your phone. Simple and straight, uh, straightforward. Let's see, anything else? Screen pinning. All right, so like I said, when I do the full review, we'll go through all this stuff separately. Now let's check the speakers real quick and see how they sound. All right, so let's take it over to the classic bike life. Bottom firing speaker. Sounds nice and loud, not the loudest in the world. Definitely would have sounded better with dual speakers, one on the top, but 500 bucks it is what it is. Now the display looks beautiful. That's another thing I gotta mention, the display. Now you know I gripe about not having the QHD displays, but for 500 bucks we're not really gonna complain, and in some ways, not having a QHD display helps you get better battery life, and I'm speaking from experience. I keep talking about this Huawei Mate 10 Pro, I'm not even mad about the no QHD display anymore. That battery life is ridiculous. We'll put this one to the test and see how it works. So far though, no lag, nice and smooth. Let's take a look at the camera. Let's uh, allow access. Okay, so let's see the camera menu real quick. Okay, you got your depth effect. Let's do a quick portrait mode shot. Let me get the box life in the background. All right, here we go. All right, so there's your portrait mode. Now we gotta play with this, but the portrait mode on the OnePlus 5 wasn't the best in the world, but it gets the job done. You're gonna get that blurry background. It is what it is. It's definitely not the iPhone, definitely not the Galaxy, and definitely not the Pixel. But the camera looks good, point and shoot status. Now you do got your world star hip hop button. Hit the power button twice, right to your camera. Look how fast that was. Let's try that again. All right, so you outside, you see the drama going down, got your phone in hand, double tap, right to your camera. That's a good look right there. Basically, like I said, if you like the OnePlus 5, then you're gonna like this one a little bit better. You got some more upgrades. Now you got a better sense uh, secondary camera for your low light photos. We're gonna put that to the test. But the fingerprint sensor is ridiculously fast. The facial unlock is out of this world. Let's take a look at some of the cases real quick. Now this is the case that came with it. Stock gel skin. Slap this one on. No razivity on this one. This is basically just going to keep your phone from getting scratched up. And if you drop it, get, get you a little impact resistance, but not much. 
Now, I do got a few OnePlus cases. If y'all see my OnePlus 5, this is my favorite case, the carbon fiber. And look how this case still looks after all of this time. Still looks brand new. All right, so let's run through the cases real quick. First up, we got the uh, wood grain, all right? Wood grain case. We'll slap this one on and see what it looks like. Now, this is an actual case, not like how Moto does with just the back shell. This one does have full protection going around your whole phone. Got a little bit of razivity. So this is semi slam boy certified. One plus insignia on the back. All the cutouts, everything on deck. Let's see what else. We got another wood grain. Rah. Pluck it and file it. Okay, a lighter version of the wood grain. We'll slap it on. Let's see. These pop off easy. Slap this one on. Oh, now this one actually looks nice. Let me do the smell test. Ah, fresh. Uh, you got a nice wood grain case. I actually like this one better than the dark brown wood. This one looks more like wood. And it kind of it kind of has a wood feel to it. Even though it's 100% plastic. All right, let's see. Now, this is a case everybody likes. The sandstone case. Let's check this one out. Now, I do rock this one occasionally. This one has a nice textured kind of feel to it. OnePlus insignia. I got to get used to seeing the cutout on the back of a OnePlus case. What y'all think about this one? Now, this one has, this one, you see the difference? The other wood cases have full coverage on the sides. This one just has a cutout and the bottom and the top is wide open. So this is more like a shell case, but this one, Feels so good in the hands, ladies. You know the procedures. And you're gonna like that, that sand kind of feel to it. Feels like a piece of sandpaper. Now, let me show you this case I've never seen yet from OnePlus. This could be my new favorite. You got a solid red. Now, in the box, it does look nice. Let's see how it, ooh, look at this. Hold up, hold up, stop the press. Look at this right here, hold up. What is this? Now this, <laughs> I know. This feels like a soft matte feel to it, but on the inside, look at that. That looks like plush, new buck, Alcantara. I don't know what it is, but I like it. I don't know what it is, but I like it. This is nice right here. All right, let's slap this one on and see what it looks like. Now, th this goes right with the OnePlus theme, everything red and white. Ooh, this is dope right here. You, it's hard to explain. This feels like a silicone, not, not really silicone. Hard to explain, but you're gonna like it. All right, you're gonna like it. This one fits, look at this, when you got your phone on your table. Red is a nice theme right here on this one. I like that. Now for my favorite case, of course, the carbon fiber. Y'all know I'm all about that race car life. So we gotta get roll with the carbon fiber. Zerks pop back up. Carbon fiber, let's see, does this look like the same one? Yep, same one. Full protection on the sides. Even carbon fiber on the inside. I like that red one, but this is it right here. This is the case. All right, this is the case. You do got some razivity on this one. I done slammed this phone a thousand and one times. It's between these two right here. But anyway, this is the OnePlus 5T. First impressions, this is a major go. All right. Now, when I do the full review, hit me up in the comments and let me know if there's anything specific y'all want me to cover. But y'all know how I do. I already got a long dislike list and I got an even longer like list. And we'll see if everything works out. But for 500 bucks, you really can't complain. All right. This is a go. All right, one thing I forgot to mention in the display was one of my favorite settings, the theme. All right, so we'll take it over the theme. We'll hit dark. Now watch how this looks. If you get a OnePlus, you gotta use the dark theme. That looks so much better. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Foxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready, no meat boys allowed. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat. Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, 
Close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Spot one to beam up. Energize.